go very quickly now, again using vanishing points for three-point perspective. Firstly, construct my cube. And in this instance, I'm going to create um, a prism by simply applying a diagonal line to give me a triangular shape. Again, applying the rules of light, medium and dark shading. Now I've only got two surfaces, one I can leave light and the other one I can either do medium or dark. Again, applying the rule that the light is coming from the left over my shoulder onto the object. Thinking about this, this means that this edge is the closest to me and is likely to generate a highlight. And again, just to help the object stand off the page, I'm just going to apply a little bit of black ground colour just to help you see. That effect. So that is one type of prism. Very quickly then, I'm just going to show you a quick construction for a pyramid type of prism. We need this construction because we also use this type of construction when we're constructing a cone. First things first is we need to identify the centre of the top face of the cuboid, which we can simply then join to the base corners of our prism. And there we have a pyramid shape. Look layout line shape through shade shadow and shine followed by presentation.